welcome to the channel. Um, today what we're going to be doing, and I know I don't normally put a video up on Wednesday, but this week you're lucky. Uh, I've got some recommended products here uh, for the tactically minded person in your life or, you know, the truck person in your life, the vehicle person in your life, and somewhere along that line. Since I do, you know, vehicles and tactical stuff, I thought I'd throw a little bit of, of that in there and give you all some some products that I personally like, that I own, um, that you might want to consider getting your loved one or spouse or whoever it may be. Hopefully if it's your spouse, it's still your loved one. If not, I'm sorry. <laughs> Just kidding. Hopefully it is. So I wrote a bunch of this stuff down. Most of these companies will be having Black Friday sales. There's a few of them that won't be, but even those um, at their price point is still some of the best in the market. So. But most of these companies will be having Black Friday sales, which is why I'm putting this video up now. And if I know about the Black Friday sale, I will let you know about that. If not, you may just have to check out their website. So let's get started. First of all, um, Dynamic Weapon Solutions. I know you all have seen this before. It is the slide that they've done for me. This is some of the best slide work that I've ever seen in my life. As soon as I seen this slide, I was like, wow, I gotta have one of those. Um, I do wanna say though, if you don't run an optic, they do also have a little plate that covers the cutout right here. So you can put this plate on, screw it down, and it covers that gap so you don't have that gap. I do know that Dynamic Weapon Solutions is doing a Black Friday sale. It starts Thursday at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time because they are on the West Coast. So go check them out and get an awesome slide cut. They do sell these already pre-cut if you'd rather do that and not send yours in, but you do have that option. Highly recommend that slide. As soon as I seen it, fell in love with it. Um, you can get it in a lot of different colors. Mine just happens to be gray, but you can get it camouflage or, or whatever color you would like to have in that. Next is optics. Now this is a big subject, so I may spend just a little bit of time on this. Hopefully this video doesn't go crazy long but it might be worth it if you're trying to figure out what to get someone for Christmas. So we have uh, various uh, different optics on this table. Um, first of all, I'd like to show you the Aimpoint uh, T2 Micro, or Micro T2. Um, I love this optic, but it is a little bit pricey. So if you see this and you're like, I don't know if I wanna spend that much money, I wanna give you an alternative to that. The Holison, um, it is the HS403GL. It is the same size as the Aimpoint Micro, and I've not had any problems with this at all. Um, it does have some scratches on it, stuff like that, where I beat it up a little bit. It's run on this AK, um, no issues at all. Um, but this is a great little optic. It also has 50,000 hours of battery life and also runs on a CR1, not, not CR123, it's the uh, the button battery, the 2032 button battery, I think it is. Actually, let's just open it and see what it is while we're standing right here, because this is how easy it is to change the battery. Yep, CR2032, that's what I was thinking. Uh, I don't know why I couldn't remember that, but I couldn't remember it. So, luckily, that's the build unscrew and just change it out that quick. Shows you how easy it is. Um, but this is the same size as the T2 Micro and uh, great optic, either one of those. This one is probably literally a third of the price of the aim point. Now, if you don't care for a little bit bigger optic, but you still want the aim point um, reputation, I ain't gonna say quality because I do think that the Holison is quality as well from my testing. It is a um, really good quality. But if you want the aim point, uh, you know, reputation, military reputation, uh, the aim point pro, is also a very good optic. I think these things are probably around $400. They're a couple hundred dollars or so cheaper than the T2, and it does also come with a mount that is quick detach, which is awesome. And I've not had any issues with this either. This optic is a lot like the Comp M3. I owned a Comp M3 for many, many years, and it was actually on the same battery for, I don't know, five years or something. It was stupid how long that battery lasted before I ever changed it. But um, I'm not gonna say the battery life and the pros will last that long, but the pro is a great option if you don't wanna spend the six or $700 on a T2, but you still want an aim point. Um, there's many other optics out there, but these are just red dots specifically for like AR and AK style rifles. 
And I want to give you a few choices. Now, if you get much below like the $200 mark or so that this um, Holison cost, uh, it's hit or miss sometimes. I know they say the Bushnell optics are good. I've had some flickering in them and it didn't always work like I want it to. And it's a little hard to push the, or turn the knob to get it to come on. Um, I've had zero issues with these and I think $200 is a good starting point for a pretty decent optic. So I went from 200 to 400 to basically like 600 or so. Next is watches. These are in no particular order. Um, so watches. Um, I love this watch I have on my arm. It is the Christopher Ward C60 Trident Pro 600. It is 600 meter water resistance. It is an automatic watch. I do have a review coming on this, but I haven't put it up yet. I think this is the best watch under a thousand dollars. I'm thinking these are like seven or 800 bucks. I got mine on sale for right around six something. Um, over the summer, they were doing some kind of summer sale and I got it for like six something and, and couldn't pass it up. Um, that's still a lot of money for a watch. This has been the best automatic watch I've ever owned. I've owned several. <clears throat> Never owned anything like an Omega or, or a, a Rolex or anything like that. But for under a thousand dollar price point, you cannot beat this watch. It's holding two and a half seconds plus a day. So it's, it's gaining two and a half seconds a day. That's within cost. Um, that's what you'll pay you know, $10,000 for Rolex for. And that's exactly what you're paying for, that, that and the name. So if I'm keeping the same thing with a six hundred some dollars, seven hundred some dollar watch now, you know, ten thousand is a lot of money. But if your budget is ten thousand dollars, Rolex. That's what I recommend. I've always wanted one. Um, next, if you don't want to spend six, seven hundred dollars on a watch, the G-Shock Range Man. Um, I don't know if that's coming in. This is my personal G-Shock. I've had this G-Shock forever. Um, the thing I like about this G-Shock is that it is automatically set to the atomic clock in Colorado. So it automatically resets itself. There's a little thing right here on the side. I don't know if you can see that, but it has like a little um, like iPhone, like tower range thing there. Tells you how much signal you're getting signal. That's what we're looking for. And uh, it'll show you that it's actually done that in the last three or four days. And I actually set the automatic watch with my G-Shock. People say, well, just wear the G-Shock. I like the look of the automatic divers. I've always liked divers watches and I just like the look of it. But for ruggedness, when I go shooting, I take the range man. This is also solar powered and I believe you can get these for under $200 now on Amazon. Great, great watch. Love the range man. It has um, an altimeter, altimeter, barometer, and a compass on it. And of course, all your other features, your world times, your timers, your alarms, stopwatch, and all that stuff is also on this. It is like a little computer. You can store stuff in it. Um, I don't ever use that. I basically just use it for a watch. <laughs> but I really like the feature that it can actually has solar power, and I never had to buy a battery probably for at least like 20 years or something as long as I sit in the sunlight. And it gets charged. Range man. Highly recommended. Floor mats for the truck. I told you we're jumping all over the place. So you just have to watch the video and see what I'm gonna talk about because I didn't put it in categories. Um, Husky floor liners for your truck. I have not bought those yet. I will buy those. Those are probably my next upgrade for my truck. I hate how the passenger side floor mat scoots around. I do have like the factory catch-all floor mats, but um, they scoot, the one on the passenger side scoots around because it doesn't uh, screw down. The Huskies actually screw down on the passenger side, which doesn't let it do that. And I will eventually buy those for my truck. Um, I don't know the best place to get them. I've not really looked yet. I buy a lot of my Toyota stuff from Sparks Parts. So that might be a good place to start or just Google it. Amazon probably has them, I know they have them. But Husky floor liners, I think I like those from the looks of them a little better than the WeatherTechs. So my recommendation is Husky. Stay tuned. Uh, as soon as I buy some of those, I'll throw that video up and have it installed. Knives. And the funny thing is, out of all this stuff I have on the table, and you can't see it, there is tons. I was going to do this by the Christmas tree. I didn't have a table big enough to put all the stuff on it, so I had to do it at the, at the um, dining room table. But, um, and I didn't bring a knife. But there's many knives, tactical knives. You know, Benchmade makes a really good knife. I actually carry a Benchmade Mini Freak every day. That's a really good EDC knife that a subscriber Jack sent me. I'd like to thank Jack again for that. I use that knife more than any knife I own. 
Um, all the way up to like Strider SMFs and stuff like that, which are like a full four inch blade, more like a tactical style knife and everything in between. When I buy my knives, I usually go to like Blade HQ. Um, they usually have really good deals on knives and they'll be doing Black Friday sales as well. And like I said, there's many, many companies that do good knives. Benchmade, Strider, uh, Microtech has a really good knife. Emerson makes a really good knife. And anything in between. If you, if you want a more budget friendly, go with Kershaw. They are, a lot of those are made in the United States and they're a lot more budget friendly than some of the other ones I named. Uh, flashlights. <clears throat> now, everyone knows that I am a Malkoff fan. These are just some of the Malkoff lights I own. Um, I carry the Bodyguard version two outside of work. I carry the Bodyguard version one at work, which is quite a bit shorter. Uh, the pockets at work aren't as deep and stuff like that, so it's harder for me to carry the longer light. I do prefer the longer light for tactical use, and I carry this one with the, I did put a cranny laid bezel on both of them for strike impacts if I need to. Um, but Malkoff makes good lights. If you don't want to carry it like that, they also have the MD3 and MD2. I want to tell you the MD2 is my most used flashlight and I've not done a review on it. I use this flashlight so much. I mean, I can't even express to you how much I use this MD2 flashlight. It's, it's amazing how much I use this actually. There's not a single day goes by that I don't use this at least four or five times. I don't carry it because it's about the same size as the Surefire 6P if y'all know that. Um, but it feels like it's a lot better quality. I've always said that about Malkoff lights. Um, and also, another thing it has is when you turn it on high, you just uh, twist the head a little bit, and it drops down to low. I love that feature. Um, this one also has it, but I love that feature, the high-low ring inside it. And love it. Use this light a lot. But if I'm gonna carry something, I carry one of these two. Carrying on, uh, if you don't want to spend that much money on light, I'm trying to give you all a few options either way, depending on what you want to spend. There's a company called uh, WowTac, I think it is now. That it used to be called A Tactical, but now I think it's called WowTac. Uh, they make this light. It's, a, it's been a great light. I've not had any problems with this light at all. It's, it's actually, I think they're made by Through Night. And this, night was, there, this light was like, I can't remember. I want to say it was under $30. It, it was somewhere around $30 or $40 range. And it's been a pretty good light so far. It does not feel the same quality as my mouth off lights do, but uh, I, wouldn't be, I wouldn't be afraid to carry this. Carrying on with uh, the rest of the light stuff. Uh, so if you look right here, this is the little AR pistol I showed you with the T2 on it. Here is the Malkoff Arasaka light combo that you can order from Arasaka to, uh, I think I'm saying that right, how to uh, mount this. This is also one of their mounts for a key mod rail. And it uses just like a Surefire tape switch or you can just use a Surefire tail cap. You can buy all that from them. But it does have the Malkoff head and we all know I prefer Malkoff in my lights. And I highly recommend this if you're looking for a weapon light for a rifle. And now I would show you cheaper options on rifle lights, but I really, I, I buy good lights for my rifles so that I know that it will maintain and, and stay illuminated during recoil uh, because you don't want your light going out on your rifle. I will say this, if you do have a Surefire Scout light, one of the older ones, you can buy the upgraded like 700 lumen Malkoff head which is what this SBR is running. Um, all these guns on the table have Malkoff lights on them. That's how much I, I really um, prefer and put a lot of faith in Malkoff products and I think that's a testament to it because I own so many and I do use this stuff and I've never had a single failure. Now on to pistol lights. There are a lot of pistol lights. Of course, I have this one broken down because this is the one that I had the Dynamic Weapons Solution slide on. This is the Enforce APLC. Love this little light. I carry it a lot. If I'm not carrying the Enforce APLC, I'm usually carrying the TLR7. This is also a great light. A little bit harder to find holsters for this light uh, than it is the Enforce, and that light's a little heavier, but it's still a great light. Both those lights from the hundred and some dollar range. I do know. The Olight is doing a Black Friday sale. Here's the Olight PL Mini. This is an awesome light. 
especially for the money. I got these lights for like 40 some dollars on sale. You have to catch them on sale for that, but I got it for like 40, 40 some dollars, almost like $45, and they're rechargeable. And it comes with the charging cable and everything. It's magnetic, it automatically clicks into that. This is one of the easiest lights to mount on and off a gun. You just flip this little leveler and then flip the lever back. It's very easy. The other two have screws in them. If you want a more duty style carry, because these are more EDC lights, those are, because they're a lot smaller. If you want a more duty style light, um, like the X300U is an awesome, awesome light for duty carry, or the TLR1HL. Now the X300U is pretty expensive at like 250 some dollars. The TLR1HL is about 115, 120. So it's probably a lot more budget friendly light and I've never had an issue um, with actually, actually, I can't say that. I've never had an issue with the stream light. I had to send my Surefire back because the bezel glass got loose and I had to send it back and they put a new, they actually put a new head on it. But I've never had to send this stream light back. So if you really want to go apples to apples, I have had an issue with my X300. I've never had an issue with the stream light, which is over half the price. But any one of those would be great options for a Christmas present because tactical guys love lights. Anything goes bump in the night, we want to light it up. All right, next is holsters. I really only have one company on the table for holsters, uh, which is Tuxton Tactical. I really like Tuxton Tactical. Uh, he makes really, really good Kydex holsters. You notice this one doesn't have clips on it, and this one has two. I robbed a clip off this and put it on this one uh, for appendix carry, because sometimes my sciatic hurts and I have to carry appendix. Too much information, I know, but I want to throw that in there. Um, he also makes like drop leg rigs uh, with retention. I really like this holster. This is a great holster. <clears throat> he also makes, you know, regular drop holsters and stuff like that. He makes the sidecar when I'm having a sidecar one moved right now where like your magazine sits here and your pistol sits here. I'm having one of those done right now. Um, plenty more uh, touched and tactical holsters coming. I do know he said he wasn't doing a Black Friday sale, but his prices are already very, very, very competitive with the market. He's lower than most companies that you'll go out and see doing Kydex holsters already. So uh, that's my recommended Kydex holster company. Uh, Stealth Gear makes a good holster too if you want the hybrid holster. It sits kind of like four o'clock, check them out. I know they'll be having a, a Black Friday sale, but I don't have any of those on table. Um, I've been mainly carrying Tuxton Tactical lately and I, and I really like that holster. Next uh, is headlamps. Should have threw us in on flashlights. I only have really one headlamp and this thing was like $20. Um, I've been thinking about doing a giveaway with one of these and going ahead and buying another one. I've just not done it yet. But uh, this is another one of the WowTac products. And I, like I said before, I think it's made by Through Night. I've not had any problem with their products and they are like very, very reasonable. Very reasonable, because I, I forget what the lumen output is on this. It's something like 500 or something. But it was like 20 bucks through Amazon. And uh, I love headlamps. I only own them one or two, but I use these a lot. Anytime I'm cleaning my firearms, I use this headlamp. Anytime I'm working on a vehicle, I use this headlamp. Um, this headlamp's been used a lot, and it also comes with a rechargeable battery that in it, an 18650, it comes with it. Pretty amazing. I also want to say that the other WowTac also comes with a rechargeable battery. That's pretty nice for like 20, 30 bucks. So next is shoes. Now, I want to go ahead and say this. I want to give Altama a shout out. I love their shoes, they're very comfortable. I've ordered two pair of the black multi-cam in the last month, or three weeks probably. Both pair, half, oh, three quarters I'd say, of the left-hand shoe is missing the multi-cam. It's just black. The rest of the shoes multi-cammed out. I sent my first pair back to the company I bought them from. I swear it looks like they stuck the same pair back in a just a generic box, threw an Altama sticker on it, mailed it back to them because the pair I got yesterday was the same way and I've got to send them back again and just try to get another pair. I'm going to call them here in a few minutes. I just got off the phone with Altama. They said they were on back order and Altama said they had eight or 10 pairs in stock. So somebody's not telling the truth here, but the shoes are still very, very comfortable. Um, I wish I had some to show you. Those were my first pair. I tried them on, wore them around a little bit. Awesome, awesome shoes. Oh my gosh. I will do a review on them when I get them, but I still recommend them, even though I'm having a problem with them, because I'm going to keep going back until I get a, right, a pair that's right, 
because I liked how they fit so much, so well. Uh, guns. We knew this would be in here eventually. So guns. Uh, what do you get the guy that has all the Glocks? A CZ P10C, and he will love it. Love it. Uh, this gun is awesome. I love this gun. All guns have been uh, cleared and everything. There's no, no rounds in anything on the table. I didn't want to go through the time to do that. Um, CZ P10C, highly, highly, highly recommended, and it's cheaper to Glock. But if you want a Glock, Glock 19 or the 43, depending on what you're looking for. Both great guns. I have reviews on all these. I'm not going through all of it. And if he's got Glocks and he's got a CZ, give him an HK VP9 or the Smith & Wesson MP 2.0 Compact. Love this gun other than the stipple because, God, that stipple's crazy. It'll eat you up. And I want to go ahead and say that there's only one gun in this whole group that has a stock trigger in it. Um, Apex makes good triggers. Best trigger in the world on a MMP 2.0, in my opinion. Also, Overwatch Precision, that is what is in my uh, Dynamic Weapons Solutions gun, is an Overwatch Precision trigger, and the Theta trigger on the CZ. Uh, if he has all these Glocks, he'll probably love the flat face trigger, so go check out those companies and uh, get him a flat face trigger. Although it wasn't next, I already had the guns in my hand, I wanna talk about it. Flip up sights. I'm gonna tell you this. I only run Troy Industry flip up sights on my rifles. I've told everybody why, when they go up, they lock up. I don't wanna take the chance on my flip up sight being hit and knocked down, and then if my optic's down, I don't have any sights, I gotta put the front back up, seconds matter in a gunfight. Um, Primary Arms has a Black Friday sale every year. Those sites are, now I don't know if they're gonna do that this year, but they've done this the past few years. Those sites are usually around $100 to $110 per site. I bought eight sets of sites the year before last because they were 50 bucks a site. They were half price. Everything I owned now has those light, or those sites on it, and I bought several sets for friends as Christmas presents. So check Primary Arms on Black Friday for awesome deals on those flip up sites, half price. You basically, I mean, you get the front and rear for the price you get of one of the other ones. You can't beat that. If they do that again this year, I don't know that, but they have done that the past two years because I bought a crap load of them. 22 conversion kit. Also, what do you do for the guy that has a Glock that likes to shoot a lot? Maybe he'd like a 22 conversion kit. I do have a uh, review, shooting review of this. I have just to talk about review, but I do have a shooting review that's already been shot. I just didn't put it up yet. But this is from Advantage Arms. I don't know if they're doing a, uh, a Black Friday sale or not, but this is a cool little uh, piece of equipment that can save you a lot of money at the range. Advantage Arms. Next, charging handles. You know, when you have an AR and you're just trying to dress it up and make it look cool, because let's face it, that's what most of us do. We don't usually use these things for a lot except punching holes in papers. There's very few people in the world that actually take these into combat. I ain't gonna say very few. There's a lot of people in the world that do that, but a very, they're a minority of how many people own these. So the majority of people that own these, you know, these aren't the military version, first of all. The people that take these into battle get the military version. But, um, you know, most of us just deck these things out and punch holes in papers or pumpkins or whatever it may be. Um, but we like to make them look good. And uh, charging handles. I believe that's the Radiant Arms. Let me check this one. I believe that's what's called the Raptor. Yes, it is the Raptor uh, charging handle. Uh, I do love the Raptor charging handle. This says it's by AXTS. Um, it's my favorite charging handle right now. I think it just looks smooth. And uh, it's ambidextrous. Love that charging handle. Uh, when you look at it, it's not crazy cheap. It, they're not over $100. But for what you're getting, you're going to be like, what? Just be ready for that. I think they're like 80 bucks or something. But it's a very nice upgrade to your AR. On down the list, ammo. I don't have any ammo on the table, but all gun enthusiasts love ammo. You can't go wrong. Find out what caliber gun they own. Buy them a crap load of ammo. That's pretty easy. I don't know who's doing Black Friday sales on ammo, 
Uh, for most of my ammo that I just go, you know, do videos with, I just buy it like Walmart. So that's where I get mine. I just go buy them out one day and then go shoot. Uh, driver's side grab handle for your Toyota Tundra. I think the older Tundras actually had a grab handle on the driver's side, but if you own a 14 or newer, you can actually go to Sparks Parts and buy that driver's side grab handle. I use that a lot more than I thought I would. So uh, that's something for, you know, the truck person, if they own a Tundra, you know, go get them one of them grab handles. They'll greatly appreciate that. If they own like a Platinum, they will have to cut a little groove out in it for the wire and harness there, but uh, that's not hard to do. Triggers, we talked about triggers a minute ago. Trigger gauges. So if you have somebody that's really into triggers and stuff, um, get them the Lyman trigger gauge. Um, it tells you how, how many pounds your trigger is being pulled and stuff like that. Really not an expensive gift, maybe 40 or $50. And it's actually pretty cool. I use that quite a bit when I'm installing triggers just to see what kind of change I get. So like if I have a stock trigger and it's pulling five and a half pounds, I put another trigger in it and I see it drop down to like four pounds. At least I know what I've got now, what I'm, what I'm using. Not that that makes a huge difference as long as it goes bang every time. I'm just a nerd and I like to know those things. Electronic hearing protection, like these Pelter right here. These are pretty awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, they do have the uh, gel pads in them. Love these gel pads. Uh, noise fighters, noise fighters who makes these gel pads. These are awesome gel pads. I, I tell you right now, the upgrade on these is worth it on any set of ear pro that you own needs a set of these gel ear, ear cups. They're awesome. But like I said, the tactical sports are awesome. You just turn those on and uh, when the gunshot hits, it blacks it out, you can't hear nothing. And then when you're not shooting, you can hear, actually the sound is amplified. You can hear more with them on than you can with them off. They're pretty, they're pretty incredible, seriously. I, I was amazed at how much amplification it did to the noises around you. You can hear things that there's no way you could hear without them. Hear what people saying like if you're nosy put those on sit outside you can hear what your neighbor's saying i'm just saying i never done that because i don't care what my neighbor's saying and i'm serious here because i don't care what they do but if you're one of those people that's the ticket for you instead of getting one of them great big things like they have at the super bowl and stuff so they can try to hear everybody those are the ones for you right there so if you have a, a nosy nelly get them those not just for shooting anymore and i'm just kidding about that don't, you know, be nosy with your neighbors. Don't do it. Not cool. Okay, next is a code reader. I just bought this code reader off of, you know, eBay. It was like $10. It is actually Bluetooth. You just plug it in, type in what, you know, what vehicle you got, and pulls up if you have any codes on it. I've only used it once or twice on the Xterra. It does come phone Pacific. So if you have an iPhone, you have to get one for the iPhone. If it has you know, a Samsung, you have to get one for the Samsung. The Samsungs are easier to find, I will tell you that, for the code readers. But I don't have a Samsung, I've had an iPhone. So they still make them, just have a little more. Okay, tactical bags. I forgot tactical bags too, just like I did a knife. But you know, one year my um, stepdad didn't have a bug out bag and what I did for him for Christmas, I made him a bug out bag. I went and found a decent bag, filled it full of like fire starting equipment, uh, you know, put a knife and like a, I think it was one of the SOG seal pups and just laced it to the outside of it. Some water purification tablets, like a life straw, um, just filled it full. I have a bug out bag video that you can go look at if you wanna know what kind of items to put in it and just build someone a bug out bag. Um, that's an awesome gift. They can throw that in their car and then if they ever need it, well, you might've saved a life one day. Mag loaders. I've got two sets of mag loaders that I've been testing. The, uh, this one's called the Uplula, I think it's called. I've had this one for quite a while. Um, you just put it on your magazine, push down, push this in and slide around through it. Um, you gotta load these one at a time. The new um, ETS magazine loader is pretty nice. You just slide it through uh, a box of ammo, stick your magazine in the bottom, um, then you stick this in the top and just shove it down and it loads the magazine. That's pretty sweet. Um, I've been using this here lately. I've only had this like a week or two. I need to do a video on it and I've not done it yet. But this magazine loader is probably the one I'd recommend um, by ETS Group. I don't know if they're doing a Black Friday sale. I bought that at Bud's Gun Shop in 
uh, Survival last time I was up there. The uh, iPhone uh, charging case, the Lux case, I'm fixing, I actually did shoot a, an updated video on this. I've not had any issues with this case. I know a lot of people's had mixed reviews on it. My uh, Mine has been nothing but good. So if you're looking for a iPhone X uh, charging case, Lux, I think they make good products. Wireless headphones, which I also forgot to bring in here. Uh, you can get anything from the Bose. I do have a set of Bose Quiet Comforts, um, all the way to like the Skull Candy Crushers. I do want to tell you the the um, Bose will block out more sound. The Crushers have way more bass. Clarity probably goes a little bit to the Bose, but the Bose are like three hundred and some dollars. And I actually got my Crushers on sale last year at Black Friday for like sixty some dollars. I want to tell you the Bose are not worth it. I like my bows, they're comfortable, they're not worth it. Buy the Crushers. Skull Candy Crushers, Best Buy, Black Friday. Next is M-Fab running boards. No matter what kind of vehicle you got truck-wise, um, you can always upgrade your running boards. I'd have the uh, M-Fab uh, podiums, love those, they're awesome. Um, still like them, had them now for probably four or five months or more and I like them better than the factory ones and they look a lot nicer. So if you're wanting to buy something that's a little bit more expensive, uh, that somebody's dressing up their truck or just bought a new truck and don't have running boards or they don't like the factory ones, go look at MFAB. Great running boards, great. I wanna say that also I'm, I'm telling you the items I like because I use them, but I'm not paid by any of these companies. So I'm not pushing this stuff like that. There's probably other side steps that people may like. Um, there's maybe other products, but these are the products that I prefer and that I use on a daily basis. Next is a rat's tourniquet. You could use this as like a stocking stuffer. I think I got this off Amazon. Um, great, great products. Um, I carry this every day because it's so small and you know, don't leave your home without a, a tourniquet, especially not in today's times because you just never know. Sunglasses, my preferred sunglasses are Costa's. And I believe these are called fantails. Uh, yep, these are called fantails. These are my preferred sunglasses. Uh, there are other brands that people like, like Oakley's. Um, I really like the Costa's better than my Oakley's. I have a set of Oakley gas cans. And the customer service at Costa is awesome. I like these so well that I have a pair of Costa's in both my vehicles because I don't want to have to get them in and out. It's a wonder I don't have a third pair in my wife's car, and that's a good thought. Maybe I'll do that, because I always forget to get my sunglasses when I get her car. So I just buy a pair, and or I stick with my old pairs. Her glove box, and now I got one in every vehicle. Last but not least on the list is night vision sights. I know night vision is gonna have a Black Friday sale, um, especially if you own a Glock, if you just bought a Glock or anything like that, you need to update your sights because those are awful. The CZP10C does not come with uh, night sights. I think you can charge them and they'll glow, but I do prefer a full set of tritium sights on all my guns that I may carry. So uh, night vision is very, very quickly becoming my favorite sights in the world. I do like the uh, Ameriglow Spartans, um, but night vision, I mean, they're, they're awesome sights. I have them on two of my guns now. That is actually what I'm running on the Dynamic Weapon Solutions slide is night visions. And uh, that's what I'll probably continue to run on most of my, my products. I know I said last but not least, but I seen something on the table that I did not put on the, on the list. And I wanted to throw this out there is custom barrels. Not custom, but I guess they're kind of custom. They're upgraded barrels. So if you run a Glock, which is what both these are off of, the Blacklist Industries right here, they are doing a Black Friday sale. It's what is in my Dynamic Weapon Solutions uh, gun. And the S3F is in one of my other Glocks. Um, threaded, so you can run comps or suppressors. Unthreaded, just if you don't want to thread the barrel. Um, this one I know is gold and may throw some people off, but that's actually titanium nitride. It's supposed to be very, very slick and durable finish. And this one is just like a black metal nut. So, the last thing I'm gonna tell you about is some of the companies that I buy this stuff from. So in case you see something on here and you might wanna go buy it, these are the companies that I use. Here again, none of these companies pay me. None of them. So, you know, if you wanna use another company, so be it. 
Uh, some of these you can't use other companies because if you want what I got, it's only one company that does it. Uh, the Dynamic Weapon Solutions slide is dynamicweaponsolutions.com. Um, go to that site, get an awesome, awesome slide. I'm telling you, the minute I seen this, I loved it from day one, and uh, I'm glad I eventually got one because it's an awesome product. Um, reviews will be coming to this. I'm just waiting on a screw to finish uh, tightening down my RMR so that it won't come off. And as soon as I get that screw in, uh, there'll be quite a few videos coming up of this pistol. But go to dynamicweaponsolutions.com, get an awesome slide. Uh, primary arms, like I talked about before, for like the flip-up sights and, and a bunch of other just tactical gear, they always have awesome Black Friday sales to so check out primary arms. Um, I also use Brown L's and Midway USA. I think most people know Brown L's and Midway. Um, but actually, I find some stuff on, on their websites to be more expensive than primary arms. So I use primary arms probably more than I do either one of those other two. That's just me and maybe it's just stuff I'm looking for, but I always check primary arms, but I do check the other two just to see. Uh, Best Buy for like, like I said, the, the wireless headphones and, and stuff like that, uh, any kind of camera products and stuff, I always go to Best Buy. We're actually fixing to upgrade our phones probably this weekend. Um, so I'll go, that's what we usually get each other every year for Christmas, we just upgrade our iPhone every year to the newer iPhone. And I think we're gonna do that this weekend, so. We'll see if the if any of the stuff gets better. So I still do some videos on my iPhone. I do some on my GoPro. So the ones I do on my iPhone, we'll see if it gets any better. Uh, Blade HQ for knives. I use Blade HQ for basically all my knife stuff. So check Blade HQ out and see uh, which knife you want. Uh, Malkoff devices for all your flashlight needs. Uh, highly recommend Malkoff devices. I, I carry one every day. I trust my life with Malkoff, even on my rifles. Check them out. Tuxton Tactical for holsters. Um, love these holsters. I've not had to modify anything with these holsters. Almost every single holster I buy, I have to modify something on, and I've not had to do it with any of his. Um, so he, he makes a really great product. Go check out Tuxton Tactical. Amazon, like I said, some of this stuff like the WowTac flashlight, probably even like some of the speed loaders and the uh, trigger gauge you can get from, from Amazon. Sparks Parts for the Toyota parts. You can buy all your Toyota parts from them, and that's where I usually get most of my Toyota parts from. Uh, did get a, my SMB intake off Amazon, though. eBay for the code reader. That's pretty much the only thing I've ever bought off eBay in forever. And Lux uh, iPhone cases. Check out Lux for your iPhone case. The watches actually came from Christopher Ward, straight from them. They're a company in London. And I know you're thinking, God, London, it took forever. It literally took me like two and a half days to get this watch from London. That is the quickest shipping I've ever seen from overseas in my entire life. It was amazing. And then like the range man I just bought off Amazon. One last thing I'd like to tell you about is AJT Design. I forgot to add that to the list. Actually, I didn't, I'll lay it over here. They're having a Black Friday sale from 1123 to 1126. And uh, this is for like your... They do a lot of key fob stuff. So if you want like a nice stocking stuff or something to upgrade your key fob, this is in like the desert sand. And I know the new Tundras don't have the key fobs that you can do like this, but they have like Wrangler stuff and, and knobs for like, like heater knobs for Tacomas and shift handles and stuff like that. But uh, check out AJT Design. It even says uh, TRD on the back. Awesome. Even at the dealership, I get a lot of comments on this key fob. It's amazing. I have a black one that matches my truck, but the Desert Sand one or the tan one was the one I bought first. Hope you liked this video. I'm sorry it was so lengthy, but I had so much stuff I wanted to get, you know, recommend to you guys in case you're wondering what to buy. Like I said, a loved one, a spouse, or whoever it may be, a friend, and you're just looking for an item to get them, I think I give you stuff at a broad range of price points, so depending on what you want to spend. Um, I think anybody would love any of this stuff. So, hope you all have a happy Thanksgiving. Stay safe. Appreciate you watching this video. We'll see you next time.